Hey everybody, welcome back to a chilly day at the Renewed Homestead. Ben and Denise here. There's Loki, of course. Um, we're going to earn our keep today because it's cold out. I think we yeah. got to 32 at most. And you can see little snow flurries coming down at us. But we want to talk about soil health. We're inside the garden right now. The main garden. The main garden. Ducks behind us and that's going to get incorporated into the main garden here. Yes. But, uh, you know... Those of you that have been following us for a while, you saw our soil when we got here. Clay, rock, awful stuff. Yes. So what have we done to fix that? Well, we're doing multiple things. Uh, we're using our animals, really, is what we're doing to improve soil health as well as compost. So if you come down here, I'll show you. And you can see there's still a little green. We had a fall cover crop in. We've had the chickens in. But when we got here, this was clay, and that was in August of 2020. We put the garden in, what was it, about April? About that, yeah. About April. Um, and we did have to tell y'all, we don't like tilling, but there was grass, rock, clay. It was a mess. Yep. So we went ahead and tilled um, this. We got compost on it. Now, we did have to purchase compost the first year. And I have found that that compost does not equal near the nutrition no. of the compost that we're growing here. So if you can make your own compost, highly recommend it. Especially if you can use the two-legged chicken tractors with built-in fertilizer. Yes, yes. As <laughs> Billy, as we learned from Billy, the chicken yeah. tractor on steroids, which we now call the chicken aid, because they're not in a tractor yet. <laughs> so yet. 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 So what we've done here, um, I took out the chicken litter. Y'all saw that, um, what, about three months ago, two, three months ago. Mm -hmm. We pulled out uh, the chicken litter from the deep litter method and we put it down. After that, I've been coming through with some rabbit poop, um, some other compost, and we've also had the chickens in here and that's why it looks like it's a little bit disturbed. I also put a cover crop down early on. Um, I'm still surprised it's actually a little green just to get even more nutrients in the soil. Yeah. So let's go take a look at our shop garden and talk about that soil. Yep. And the turkeys are also in here with yes. the chickens. So yes. And the ducks are allowed to go through. They don't spend much time in here. Guineas a little bit, but well, the, chick the chickens we, are the main little workers that do their thing in here. Yes, and once the uh, once we get this around the ducks, the ducks will be fully integrated into the garden. They'll still be able to come and go, but they are going to reside in the garden with their house um, to help get all the duck the bugs to help fertilize yep. all of that. And they don't disturb young plants. They won't they won't tear them up like a chicken will. Yes. So, all right, yes. to the shop garden. Let's go. All right, welcome to the shop garden. We've got comfrey over here. That'll be coming up any time now, hopefully. And this is where we had corn last season and some beans and a few other things. It's the one place that the deer didn't really disturb. Mm -hmm. So uh, we did expand it out a little bit further that way and kind of widen it out another foot or so this way, but we need to be able to get past it, so. Yeah, and it's this, yeah. long and narrow. <laughs> yes, but this is where we will have the potatoes, um, some bush beans, uh, flowers. Um, we'll go in here this year doing a rotation to kind of confuse the bugs because as y'all know we do not do chemicals. Chemicals. <laughs> so yeah. so but you can see in here we've also taken some of the chicken litter and the duck litter and we've also put it across this garden. Now, when we first got here, this too, the soil here was not very good. Well, so this was better soil than our main garden. Yeah, but this also was flattened out. This was, when we put our shop up, this all had to be graded down. So part of this was just completely disturbed clay and, and rock. And 
there just wasn't anything to it really. I mean, yes. This is all kind of new, new, so. Yeah, so when we, when we first got here, what we did after the shop came in, we decided to make this a second garden. Um, and we did, um, as y'all probably have seen in previous videos, uh, we put down compost again. We had to bring it in from outside when we first got here, but we put down compost, put down cardboard, and we put down um, wood chips over. We let the guineas and the chickens in before we actually planted the corn last summer, let them fertilize it. We took some of the sheep droppings as well, put it in here, and now we have the rabbit. So y'all were blessed with poop. <laughs> That's yes. really what it comes down to. No, we didn't put any hay in here, right? This was just the wood chips and the uh, yeah, purchased Yeah, there was no hay here. Yeah. Okay. There was, and hay is another thing that, hay and straw is another thing that we have used to help build our soil, not only here, but also in the bad parts of our pasture. Yep. Well, and in our food forest, which we'll go visit next. Yes, but I wanted to show you guys, see if I can, it's been a muddy, muddy mess, but I don't know if you can see. So we're now doing pretty good in the soil here. Okay. And believe it or not, even though we had that uh, Arctic blast a couple weeks back, we still have a little bit of cabbage and spinach. Yeah, spinach is growing. We planted it, for, planted the spinach for the fall, and it's hard. It's actually really hard to grow a fall garden here. So next year, um, after we put up the greenhouse, we'll we'll be trying to grow it in there. It's just hard because fall goes from really cold back to really hot to really cold to really hot. So it's you never it's, know. You never know. So. But let's go check out the food forest because that is our most problematic area by far. Yeah, let's go look. All right, welcome to the undeveloped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> welcome to the undeveloped portion of our food forest. We do have a few trees in here, but nothing else. And some comfrey in. Well, oh that's yeah, about on it. the on the hillside we planted comfrey. It's just you just put in roots last fall, mm -hmm. so they'll be coming up this spring in force, I'm sure, because they are they should cover this whole area, but. It's very, it's sloped and I'm hoping that we can do a little bit of leveling. We've got a box blade and hopefully we can kind of, you know, terrace that out a little bit. And you'll see as we go on down how it's, it's a little flatter, but um, yeah, you wanted to mention what the soil yeah, looks like Yeah, so here. show them. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all can see and we'll hold it up. So this is the soil that we've been get, contending with. Get, get around the rocks here. So, you can see we still have a lot of work to do um, within this area. Um, we started the food forest about what, about a year ago, I think we started it. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I about guess. a year ago. And, and we're going to extend it all the way down this way, but um, we've got part of it done. So let's go show you that soil because that is the most problematic um, soil on the homestead. I mean, as far as where we're growing food. Right. And I, uh, if you got my vote, it, if we're voting on it, it's, I've got most improved soil. Okay. All right. Let's go take a look. Or not. Oh, I think so. Yeah, you're right. It's got to be the most improved soil. Folks, it's cold. It is cold. All right. This is the... Uh, we're, we're in frame, right? We are in frame. Okay. So. Sorry. Folks, it's cold out here. This is uh, the food forest. Most improved soil for sure. Uh, you can see how black it is. Um, now you can see some of the, the patchy, patchy areas. That is the one downside of free-ranging your chickens, but take a look at the soil. So still not great, but better. It was red clay when we got here. Now we did do the um, cardboard, oh, compost cardboard, and then instead of doing wood chips, we did wood mulch. I'm um, mm -hmm. thinking it would break down faster to help the soil and it did break down faster, but um, it had a lot of weed seeds. Yes, it did. So we're kind of starting over in some sense. We've got some cages here. That's where the strawberries are planted. Uh, thank you, Billy and Michelle. Yep. Um, so we'll be putting uh, a huge amount of wood chips all over this area again, except for where those cages are um, to help us uh, kind of stop the, the unwanted weed regimes. Yep. So, but we've got trees, we've got blueberries, we've got ras all kinds of raspberries, the strawberries. So 
There's a lot of stuff in here. You can't see it right now, obviously, because it's winter and things got, have gone dormant. But... Well, and the deer have gotten in. That's why we, we're, yeah. we'll be doing electrical fencing around. We will take you along when we do all this and yep. kind of show you how it works. But in here, um, we've really been focused on dropping the rabbit poop in here um, since we've had the rabbits because we still need... Um, a lot of nutrients in this soil because it was so depleted. This was an old tobacco farm. So again, what we've been doing um, is uh, chicken poop, chicken litter, rabbit poop, um, and our own compost. Um, like you've seen with the chicken aids, we also have our own compost piles. And y'all saw us, like when, when uh, you go hunting, there are organs, you can throw those. You can either feed them to your to your dogs, but you can also throw them in the compost pile and that's only going to make uh, the compost pile better. You can see, so we're still dealing with some clay, um, but it's a lot better than what it was. And we have been able to do this with our livestock. A lot of people are talking about getting rid of livestock, but if we get rid of livestock, we get rid of cows, we get you know ruminant sheep, um, even chickens aren't ruminants, but getting rid of chickens, things of that nature, um, all we're left with is chemical fertilizer. And that is not um, a good alternative for um, soil health. So, and most of that is dependent on fossil fuel. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can see, not a good idea. We need ruminants. Um, and like, you know, Ben's got a bucket of rabbit poop here. We literally just drop it over, yeah. Get some on your on your boot there. Thank you. You're welcome. Blessed with poop, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now, what is special about rabbit poop? Are you asking me? I'm asking you. Rabbit poop does not have to be composted. It is ready to go because they their their system does something to that poop and makes it magic. Yes, it <laughs> it doesn't have to rest. You can use it immediately. Nope. Yes. That's the only animal you can use immediately. I believe so. Everything else has to be composted or given a certain amount of time to kind of break I down. I so, so, yep. Yeah, but so. you can see, got rabbit poop down here. That's what we've been doing to help improve this on top of um, our compost. We'll be putting wood chips down soon all over all of this, but use your animals. Animals are the key to soil health as well as comfrey and living fertilizer. Uh, during the year when comfrey's active, we will put comfrey down um, as well and let that fertilize the soil as well. We wish Loki's poop was a good fertilizer. Right. <laughs> doesn't work, does it poop? So just wanted to say there are multiple ways that you can build soil health. Um, utilize those animals, uh, utilize hay, straw, um, rabbit droppings, chicken droppings, uh, ruminant animal droppings, cows, sheep, um, multiple different ways. Yeah. But try this year, grow something. Yes. If you've never grown anything, just try it. Even if it's in buckets, try it. Yeah, potatoes grow really well in buckets, y'all. That's true, they do. Yes. <laughs> in fact, we have some in a bucket in our house that are growing up out of the bucket. Yes, it's yes. Ridiculous. But... But we're gonna go in and get warm because my hands are freezing. Yeah. <laughs> and we need to get dinner. <laughs> I can't feel my feet anymore, so. Yes. All right, well, that's, I think that's it. Um, yeah. You know. Just wanna encourage you, you can build soil health. There's all, you know, we did Jadam fertilizer this last year, comfrey fertilizers um, by animals by far and uh, doing our own compost have been by far the best fertilizers. Yeah, and if you've got animals, you're gonna have poop anyway. Might as well put it in. You know, put it to use. You're, put it to use and give it, take that advantage. So yes, because it doesn't cost anything more than the feed in the first place. Yeah. So, all right. Well, make sure you uh, comment, subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up, and uh, visit our store, renewedhomestead.com forward slash shop. Yep. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. God bless everybody. Take care. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye.